there that you have to do something different. One thing that, that we uh, like to do to differentiate ourselves from other builders is something called market surveys. Within any given market, we survey every buyer that's bought a home within the last two years. Whether that's a, a new home or a used home, all buyers within that marketplace receive a survey and then we ask them the types of questions uh, based on what they bought, what they would have preferred to buy, and what type of orientation they like in their rooms. For example, if you had um, $5,000 extra to spend, would you rather have an additional bathroom? Would you rather have a fifth bedroom? Would you rather have a garage? And then based on those buyers' preferences, we design our floor plans to meet those. And, and like you said, Shad, every market is its own market. On the East Coast, buyers like to see the master bedrooms upstairs in the larger homes. Here in, in Houston, buyers prefer a downstairs master. So even across the country, it's really interesting to see how uh, buyers can differentiate what they want, and we're trying to serve that market a little better. We have a $70,000 product all the way up to $800,000 homes where we have designed the product to meet what the buyers are asking for. I uh, bet you get a lot of relocating consumers who are looking for a, maybe a master upstairs and uh, and other bedrooms downstairs. This is one of the, the we're going to talk about the Martha Stewart inspired homes in a minute, but isn't there a, a master up in uh, one of the Martha, Martha Stewart units? Yes, there is, and we make sure we have a master up plan within every home series that we build. Cool. Well, tell me, Dee, why should I buy a new home, or why should one of our listeners buy a new home now instead of waiting, say, six months for things to improve? You know, that's a great question. Buyers today will customize their coffee, uh, go to Starbucks, order it as you like it. You can custom order a pair of tennis shoes. So if you're looking at a home, the largest investment that you make in your lifetime, emotionally or financially, why wouldn't you want to customize your home for the next 30 years? You get to choose how you want to live. Make it your own experience rather than the experience that somebody chose for you. Yeah. It's absolutely worth the wait. Cool. Well, tell me, Dee, what? Tell me about your relationship with Martha Stewart the, and the Martha Stewart inspired homes, and what uh, what areas uh, outside of Houston they're, they're in. And uh, tell me about your relationship. We um, we're really blessed to be involved in the Martha Stewart project or or uh, partnership. Taking one of the the largest or strongest design firms and and home building firms and merging them together was a really great idea. As the markets shift and correct all across the country, we want to make sure that we're first and foremost not only in innovation but in the buyer's mind, and we believe that this is one partnership that can help us do that. Uh, the Martha Stewart properties in, let's see, I believe we have six different divisions now. We have Paris, California, P-E-R-I-S. Um, we have a Martha Stewart product in Orlando, another one I believe in Tampa, Colorado, um, South Carolina, and then here in Houston in the Wood Creek Reserve community. It's really been very popular, um, popular themed homes, hasn't it? You know, it has. Um, what she brings to the table is, is the American okay. design, which is um, more geared toward craftsmanship and livability. Martha Stewart's known for her clean lines and her architectural detail, and we've captured that. The homes that we build are actually um, a mirror image of some of her homes in Connecticut and, uh, let's see, Michigan and one other... New York? Was yeah, New York. Right. Thank you. That's hometown. It was easy for me to remember <laughs> that. And tell me, tell me some of the features you might find maybe in the New York home that uh, you may not find anywhere else with any other builder. You know, it's interesting. Great question. We have a, a mud room in one of our model homes, and people walk into it and say, what in the world is this? Uh, it doesn't rain here that often, but it's a great space that, that she's planned. It's, it's an area that you'll see predominantly on the East Coast, not again, or again, not expecting it in Texas. However, it has a lot of functionality. If you have children, if you have a husband who likes to work outside, it's an area where you can come in, drop off the dirty clothes, the dirty, the dirty boots, and it's also a transition area from the outside to the inside. It's a great concept. 